Hey guys, welcome to Agnazar. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to solve some numericals based upon ADC and DAC. That is analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. Okay. Before starting the video, I would like to announce that those who have not joined the uh, join our Telegram group, that is Isrota for EC. Please join it fast. And also, we have launched our India's first online test series for Isrota Technical Assistant. Okay. So please register all yourself and uh, and solve around 1800 plus questions uh, so that you can prepare well for the exam. Now let's start the video. Question number first. Question number first is what is the largest value of output? Okay, now largest value of output for an 8-bit DAC is that is 1, 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this is in binary. Now we have to convert this in decimal. On converting into the decimal, uh, this is 2 to the power 7, 1 into 2 to the power 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power 6 and so on up to 1 into 2 to the power 0. You will get around 255 as the answer in by, uh, by uh, answer in decimal okay now that produce one volt one volt is equal to this decimal equivalent then k i can find the value of k from here uh, for this 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 now you have to convert this into first decimal equivalent now con on converting this you will get around 2 to the power 5 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 okay this will come out to be 50 then 1 volt is equal to k into 50 and k is equal to 1 upon 50 which is equal to 20 millivolt now for analog output for the largest output what will be the analog output which is equal to v naught is equal to k into decimal equivalent okay now v naught we don't know we have to find k is 1 upon 50 that is 20 millivolt into decimal equivalent is 255 for the largest output okay this will come out to be 5.10 volt as the answer. Therefore, V not equal to 5.10 volt. Now, question number two. What is question number two? A 5 bit DAC has a current output for a digital input of 1010. Now, current output, we know that current output is equal to step size into decimal equivalent decimal equivalent now we don't know step size i am taking step size as k okay decimal equivalent of 1010 is 10100 is 1 into 2 to the power 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 okay Current output is given as 10 milli ampere. 10 milli ampere is equal to K into 1 into 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 plus 16 plus 2 square. This is 2 square. Okay. 16 plus 4 is 20. Okay. Now K is equal to 10 milli ampere upon 20 here. Now for second, what will be the output current for case 2? We have to find the output current that is I2. K is equal to 10 milli ampere upon 20. And the decimal equivalent for this number will be 20. 9. Okay, therefore 10 milliampere into 29 upon 20, which will be equal to 14.5 milliampere as the answer. Therefore, the current output for this digital input will be 14.5 milliampere. Now, question number 3 If the input of a DAC is changed from this to this, then output voltage changes this. The full scale reading of DAC is this. We have to find the full scale reading of the digital to analog converter. Now, this is changed from this. Now, we have to first subtract this. 0, 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0, 1. On subtracting this, you will get 1, 0, 1 in the binary input. Okay. And this will be 5 in decimal. This you know. Okay. Now, for resolution, what is the resolution? Resolution is equal to the voltage change that is a 25 millivolt upon the input we are getting is 5 in decimal which will be equal to 5 millivolt. Okay, this is the resolution. Now we have to find the full scale deflection or full scale voltage. This will be equal to resolution. Resolution into 2 to the power n minus 1 because as we know that resolution is equal to full scale deflection upon 2 to the power n minus 1. 
on solving the resolution is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into number of bits will be number of bits will be 10 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay therefore this is the 10 bit DAC okay so number of 10 bits will be 10 to the power 10 on solving this you will get 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 1 0 2 3 on solving this you will get 5.12 volt as the correct answer therefore the full scale reading for DAC will be 5.12 volt now next question question number fourth a certain 8 bit DAC has a step size of 15 millivolt determine the full scale output voltage and the percentage resolution okay now to find this first of all we have to find the number of steps for 8 bit range what will be the number of steps number of steps we can find from 2 to the power n minus 1 and n is equal to 8 bit 2 to the power 8 2 to the power 8 is 256 minus 1 which is equal to 255 now step size is given as 15 millivolt okay now we know that step size is equal to the full scale voltage upon the number of steps this we know that from here we can find the full scale voltage that is FSD step size is given as 15 millivolt number of steps is given as 255 on calculating this you will get 3.825 volt as the full scale voltage okay now second is we have to find the resolution now we know that percentage resolution percentage resolution is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1 into 100 1 upon 2 to the power n is n is 8 bit minus 1 into 100 you will get around 0 0.39 percent as the resolution for this 8 bit DAC therefore resolution will be 0 0.39 percent and the full scale definition will be 3.825 volt okay now let's go to question number 5 a 10 bit DAC provides an analog output has a maximum voltage of has a maximum value of 10.23 volt we have to find the resolution of the DAC okay so how can we find this question so let's now we know that analog output that is V naught is equal to the resolution into decimal equivalent this we know that equivalent okay V naught is given by 10.23 volt resolution we have to find resolution and the data decimal equivalent will be now this is a 10 bit DAC for a 10 bit DAC the now for a 10 bit DAC the decimal equivalent will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 on converting this into decimal equivalent this is a binary input converting into decimal equivalent you will get 1023 as the answer okay this will be 1023 now resolution is equal to is equal to 10.23 upon 1023 so this will come out to be 10 millivolt as the correct answer resolution of the DC will be 10 millivolt or you can say 0 0.01 volt okay now next question question number sixth and ADC has a total conversion time of 280 microsecond what will be the highest frequency that its analog input should be allowed to obtain okay so let's do this question now we know that for an analog to data converter the TC max the highest frequency that the analog invert input analog signal can contain is which is equal to 2 into average conversion time conversion time is given as 280 microsecond okay from here we can find our FC max I can write FC max is equal to 1 upon TC max which is equal to 1 upon 2 into average conversion time is 280 microsecond 280 into 10 to the power minus 6 on solving this this will be 10 to the power 6 upon 560 on solving this you will get 1.785 kilohertz is the answer 1.785 therefore the frequency highest frequency will be 1.78 now next question and the last question of this video that is question number 7 the full scale input voltage to an ADC is 10 volt okay FSD that is given as 10 volt the resolution R I am denoting it by R which is given as 5 millivolt 
we have to find the minimum number of bits okay that is n so we know that resolution is equal to the full scale deflection upon 2 to the power n minus 1 full scale deflection is given as 10 and the resolution is uh, and the number of bits we have to find to the power n minus 1 and the resolution is given by 5 millivolt that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay or how can we can solve this question that is 10 upon 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 which is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 uh, on solving this you will get 10 to the power 4 upon 5 2 to the power n minus 1 this will be 5 2000 okay 2000 2 double zero 1 is equal to 2 to the power n okay now we know that 2 to the power 10 is 1024 and 2 to the power 11 is 2048 and then we are getting 2001 therefore n will be equal to the number of bits required for ADC will be n equal to 11 therefore n equal to 11 is the correct answer okay these are some questions based upon ADC analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter if you have any doubt related to these questions please ask in the telegram group given below and also I will provide this uh, link in the uh, YouTube description box okay and uh, so all the very best for your exams and if you want me to make some video more videos please comment me in the below section okay so bye